Go ahead. LVC Dusha, 26, born in Albania, raised in London, professional basketball player. Three, one, two, three, Raiders! What's up guys, LVC Dusha here, a brand ambassador for Always Balling. Go online, check out the site, see if there's anything you like. When you're online as well, have a look at the LVC Dusha collection and let me know if you buy anything and make sure you tag me online as well. Thank you. I'm sweating more, I'm sweating more being in here while it's hot than I have during practice. That's a lie. I sweat loads during practice. Yeah, Week three out of Hock, week two in training. Literally just finished with Elliot. And I'm, abs I'm absolutely shattered. <laughs> Either my, my legs don't work or my muscles. Oh, that big of a difference from when I first had the surgery to the yeah. It feels good though. It feels really good to be, you know, training essentially, especially doing, with, doing what Elliot's making us do. I feel as if I'm training for like the world's strongest man or something but yeah uh, it was good afraid of that's just something that we have to embrace because for every low point that we're going to have there's always going to be something to chase that's going to be up to you i think he's done a great job of adapting to first of all he's had the surgery and now he has to get used to the movements that he hasn't been able to do in such a long time also developing the knowledge that there are going to be some really high days but there's also going to be some some lower days rehab isn't linear um, so your progression and the amount of time that you're spending on it isn't always representative of each other but as much as it goes up and down there is still the end point of returning to play uh, and that's firmly in sight um, i think he's done a great job um, uh, and I'm really, really happy with his progress and I'm proud of the way that he's he's taken everything on board and, and action that in a professional manner. Uh, of course, um, but those are inevitable. Um, LVC was aware of that prior to surgery, um, but then it becomes very much a reality when you do have difficult days. We've had a couple, um, a couple of days where one is either been extremely tired and I've had to adapt the plan for the day or the plan for the week, um, but that's never usually happened. Usually it's been about a 24 hour process where we've had to push reset. Um, yes, there's been a few days where the, the knee has reacted to what we've done the day before and uh, has swollen up a little bit, um, but then that's just feedback that you take on board from his body. Um, and we adapt from there. There's no strict plans. Of course, we have aims and objectives for every single week, and we have those short-term and long-term goals, but it's not something that has to be so fixed that isn't malleable to him. This is injury rehabilitation. It needs to be specific to the individual, and in this case, it needs to be specific to LVC Dusha, not, both, not from a physical standpoint alone, but also social and psychological perspectives.
for, for those that know LVCM, for those that have been following the documentary, I think it's no illusion that he's quite a character. Um, characters in themselves, the way that he, he takes things um, emotionally, but he's a funny guy. Um, yeah, there have been difficult days um, where, you know, he, he's been unhappy and he's expressed that. Um, but that's far superior to an individual, an athlete, a patient, um, not expressing their concerns, not expressing their pain or discomfort or their apprehension. So it's been a benefit for LVC's character. Um, but yeah, that's more of a reflection upon me in order to try and manage, manage him as an individual. Um, but he's worked with me really well. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's been a great exposure for me as a prof professional, um, but him as an athlete moving forward as, as he is a veteran in this league. That everybody's different. It isn't necessarily going to be, okay, this is three weeks, four weeks, five weeks. I'm big on, yes, there are timelines within evidence and they are great to put us into a ballpark, but we work to criteria. We don't work to timelines. Everybody's success rate at reaching that criteria will be different. Some will be sooner some will be a little bit later. Everybody's bodies are different, and that means they're gonna to respond to injury in that tissue healing process differently. And that's just something that you have to accept. It's very much unknown. There's so much that you can't explain, like even cons consultations um, with LVC surgeon recently, we can't explain why meniscal issues are so painful because they're so small relative to other structures that are nearby. We can't explain that. All that we can do is facilitate the recovery process. Another aspect is just like training in your off season to get ready for the new year or, you know, when you're playing double headers in the week, rehab isn't an easy ride. It's hard. It is hard work. There are still so many other aspects of rehab that you have to consider. It's not just treating the area itself. We need to try and preserve, preserve strength on the other leg, and that's what we've done. We need to try and preserve cardiovascular fitness as well as we can and improve upon it if we can in those particular areas. It's not just getting back to basketball. Three, yes, two, we can return to play, one, but we need to get back to return to competition. That's, that's there is a watching. difference between that. Come back a stronger athlete, a better athlete, more robust individual to compete in your sport. That's what athletes should be taking away from this. Clinically, um, I was confident. I knew what I needed to do. I knew what we needed to work towards and I knew what I was going to put in place in order to support that success. Um, and I'm really happy to say that this week, LVC was discharged by his consultant um, from Nuffield Health and he was also discharged by his consultant uh, from his physiotherapist, sorry, um, at Nuffield Health too, um, which is fantastic outcomes. I would say for me, the biggest thing that I've learned is being a manager of an individual a little bit more because this being the off season and being the situation with the club, my responsibility within this period of time has been to LVC and working with him one-to-one, -one, whereas I'm very used to managing a team, a team of players and working one-to-one -one objectives within the team two birds with one stone catch up on sleep and do your rehab come on help we're ready active force hold it please. yeah actively. absolutely there's no doubt in my mind that lvc Dusha is is going to be back ready for the 2021-22 oh season wherever that may be i'm sure that's up to his discretion to disclose um and it is certainly not mine um, but I'm very, very confident that he's going to be full bill of health, ready to go. And uh, with a bit of luck and a bit of determination and consistency, a better athlete than you've seen before.
I wanted you to achieve 95% to the good side, the contralateral side. Okay? Smashed it. That's it. Just SNC, pre season stuff now. That's uh, it. Does it really look like I need SNC? Huh? Uh, what are you saying? We clip? We clip. Ah. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, come on. Hey! Hey! Mate, this ain't about you anymore, this is about me. This is about always us, mate. Always bowling. No one wants to see me. This is a Paul Nicholson documentary now. What's up, I'm Paul Nicholson. Please make sure. What's up, guys? I bumped my knee once, it hurt a lot. <laughs> like, ah, uh, like, I got you a plat. Do, you do not deserve a documentary for that. Please, fellas, listen. You're gonna go on YouTube, you're gonna subscribe to mine first, and then to my Instagram, and then. We'll, we'll and then to pause if you've got enough time after yeah, that yeah. but more importantly my two channels and then get yourself the shirt as well oh my i look big after this surgery look Dude, i like your camera mate i ain't doing this again for you it's over <laughs> yay i'm ready go on okay. So little Brody's told me he may well or may not have signed a contract. Is that true? Maybe. Mm, yeah, I have. I've signed to play basketball in the United Kingdom. Keep watching to find out where. <laughs> oh.